Alright, hey, what's up guys? It is me, African Hair God. I know I have not been on here in a minute. That's because I've been planning and editing this video. Like, this video has been giving me hell because I have to edit it twice over. I had to, like, make the video clip and then go back and... Yeah, anyways, <laughs> so as you all may have noticed, I have reached 600 videos posted and uploaded onto YouTube, which is a huge monument for me. I never thought, I mean, let, let, let's just really sit here and contemplate. The number is 600. Like, that is a lot of videos. That's a lot of anything, but that's a lot of videos, and then when you think about the time... Um, the energy and the effort that went into making 600 videos, like, it, I can't even conceptualize that quantity. It's just so much. Um, and I just wanted to do something special for this 600 video. Um, and so I'm going to do a live reaction to some of my highlights of my YouTube channel, specifically more so on the my personal side because... This channel has been more than just a hair journey for me. It has been a personal growth journey for me as well. And it's been a long time since I've gone back and looked through my old videos. And um, I think it would just be great to see where I came from, where I started from, how I progressed um, and reached the place that I'm at now. Um, I'm just internally grateful for all of you that have taken the time to watch, to comment, to subscribe. Um, to share my videos, um, those of you that have sent emails thanking me, um, telling me that I'm your inspiration and things like that, it means so much. And um, I just, I never, when I first made this channel, I never intended for it to grow to such a large scale. But I'm just, like I said, I'm very appreciative and grateful of the success that I've had on here. Thanks to you all. So without all that all that mushy stuff out the way, let's go ahead and get into this um, live reaction. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's African Hair God here. Oh there my god. Down. Stop! I can't watch. I look so young. I think I must have been like a year and a half natural at this point. And this was back in 2010. Oh my god, my skin looks so good here. Really? This was back when I was my sophomore year in college. I had no direction whatsoever. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And this this was just a hobby for me. Oh god. This is hard to watch. I just threw this one in here so everyone can stop asking me where Alicia is at <laughs> because People are probably wondering, like, why the intro of my video says LGBT lifestyle. Like, that's because we originally, me and her, were doing videos on LGBT topics and stuff. But we kind of fell off with doing that, and we're no longer friends anymore. So, y'all not going to see her anymore, and I'm probably not going to make any more LGBT-related videos either. I'm just not. I'm just in a different place in my life with that. Oh, my hair was cute. I see, I miss when I used to do hairstyles like that. I'm going to do that again once my hair gets a little bit longer. Lord, I was so gay. <laughs> really? In front of the Burger King, though? Oh, my God. This is so ratchet. Look how skinny I was. My God. And, you know, the whole time I thought I was fat. Lord, the editing is just horrible. <laughs> I thought I was hot stuff. 
Oh my god, if I could ever go back in time. Yes, miss, flick that out of the way. Up, oh, time to go walk in this bird cane and get my whopper. <laughs> oh my god, why, Jesus, why? <laughs> Oh, this editing. What is this? Oh, this is the first time I wore heels. Oh, I was kind of rocking a little bit in them heels. Yes, honey. In them jeans, though. And get into this mohawk. <laughs> oh, my 22nd birthday. That was five years ago. I remember this night. I I went speed dating at this gay speed dating event at my school, and then we went to see a movie. And then, out of nowhere, Kevin Hart and Idris Elba pops up at the screening of their movie, Think Like a Man, and everyone was going crazy. And I had no idea who they were. <laughs> And I just happen to be vlogging. I'm like, is he a rapper? Like, why are we getting excited? He's not funny to me. He's really not funny. I'm probably like the only gay person that is not like attracted to Idris Elba because I mean I don't really see what the big deal is about. Oh, ain't nobody feeling Tyrese no more. <laughs> ah, why is he here? Okay. I, see, I stepped my game up a little bit with my style. I still like I've never been fashionable, but I don't know for whatever the reason I was obsessed with trying to be fashionable and modeling or whatever. But I can definitely see my confidence start to soar. Um, I was getting more and more comfortable at wearing the heels out in public and stuff like that, and people watching me and looking at me and stuff all crazy and shit. It was crazy, but. This walk though. Yes, honey. Oh, my graduation. I know I should be more excited, right? I, I really didn't want to go to my graduation. I hate long ceremonies. I graduated from Georgia State University, um, and my major was computer information systems. Oh my god, my sister's hair was so short. Oh, my hair was so cute! That was the first time I did twist extensions uh, with human hair. And it looked and behaved just like human hair. I completely forgot about this. Oh my god, people were so upset at me that this little girl ran into my elbow and people were like trying to tell me I like elbow this little girl like on purpose. No, I was just trying to trip her up really. I wanted her to fall and hurt herself. But I wasn't trying to elbow her in the face. <laughs> Look at me trying to be all romantic.
I don't know how long we're together. This was back in 2013. Man, where did the time go? Oh, I remember this. We went bowling that weekend. This was Gay Pride weekend too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, did we go to Pride? I don't think we did. No, 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 we did, but it was raining. That's what it was. It was raining. I actually suck at bowling. I just edited it to make it look like I know how to bowl. <laughs> and this is when I started beauty school. This was my first day. Um, as soon as I graduated, I started beauty school months later. Um, and that whole ordeal was just like horrible. The school, the, most of the students didn't like me for the longest time. They thought I was stuck up in obnoxious. Um, <clears throat> the school gave me problems, but a lot of this stuff I still use. I like I still use this flat iron. That's still the best flat iron I've ever used. It was like thirty dollars. Oh, this autofocus though. I remember I decided to do this video because I felt like in the black community there isn't a lot of discussion about depression and mental illness. I can actually see the difference in this video versus the beginning. Y'all know I have not picked up that cello in like years. Okay, it's probably been like a year, but I actually enjoy making this video. It was kind of fun doing a duet with yourself. This was the only cello video that I actually liked that I felt sounded really good. And I think this was our first event at the Green Thumb Salon. I had started working there February of 2014. And um, I had never hosted an event or anything like that. And we put it together and it was, it was a really good event. Look at all that natural hair up in there. Right, oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my God, cut that out. What were you thinking? See, I blame beauty school. Beauty school, I was trying to experiment and do all these different crazy things. And I know what the hell I was doing. I remember somebody on Lipstick Alley said my hair had looked like ramen noodles. <laughs> and it does. I couldn't even be mad. Oh my god. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> my body was on point though. Get into these legs. My god. I swear, I thought I was in an electric movie or something. Oh, man, that is hilarious. I actually did take martial arts for a long time. Um, a lot of people don't know that. It's part of the reason why I'm into, like, blades and stuff. And I guess this was around the time I started to get into the golf style. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were confused about that. Um, I was going through some stuff in my life. I had just broken up with my ex-boyfriend and um, I just kind of took that as an opportunity to really dive into myself and explore myself more. I didn't really have that opportunity growing up and I've always wanted to do golf back in high school and stuff.
Oh my god, it's plush the line! Oh, the editing could have been a little bit better, but this was funny. I remember making this video, this was funny. <laughs> you better act like you hot! <laughs> It's been two years already. I was at beauty school for two whole years. Cause I went part time. I remember this was around Thanksgiving, so most of the people already left. I was so happy to be up out of that school. Why I got the umbrella? I'm so extra. <laughs> oh god, I was so extra. I think I was still doing golf here. Yeah, black fingernail polish. Fifteen hundred hours. Mm-hmm. Cause that thing that thing wouldn't accept your punch. Sometimes you punch out and they'll tell you accept it and then you find out it didn't register. You'd be like, what the hell? Oh wow. That was just a year and two months ago. I look so handsome with the shortcut. I mean, I'm handsome either way, but I'm just saying that. Lord. <laughs> I mean, if I was single. I'm just kidding. I am single. <laughs> Oh lord, that difference. Look, can't nobody tell me that steamer don't damage nobody here. Everybody was like, oh, you steam too long. I don't care what nobody said. Unless you need that moisture, like, I don't care about no porosity or none of that shit. That shit is damaging. And, um, the rest goes without saying. Um, just pretty much growing out my hair again and, um, Wow, I've been on YouTube for over seven years. No, 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 just about seven years, because I think next month will be seven. So um, that is a long time. Um, it's just it's been a long journey, um, and I've met a lot of people. I've had a lot of great opportunities, um, and I'm again I'm very very thankful for all of you because you pushed me out of my comfort zone at times. Um, and, and push me to do more and be more and be the best that I can be. And um, I see that all the time with people that I grew up with in high school and things like that. And just to see where our mentalities are, like, versus then and now. Like, I can see the difference between me versus them. And it's, it's, it's really because of you guys. I wouldn't be in this career that I have now, loving what I do. I wouldn't be a cold business owner of a, a business, of a salon, um, I wouldn't have had so many different opportunities, like I said, if it weren't for you guys, and I'm just eternally grateful for you all, and I really do love and appreciate you all for that, so, more videos to come, I don't know, we're gonna do another 600 videos, we gonna see what happens, but I ain't making no promises, boom, okay, I ain't making no promises, but, um, until the next video, guys, be blessed, and thank you all so much for watching, bye!